Kubus Burnett is the territory lead for Southeast and West Africa at Seagate. Uh, Kubus, it's a great pleasure to welcome you to What's Next. Firstly, how are you doing and how's the uh, pandemic been treating you? How's business? I imagine that uh, the pandemic has been good for Seagate's business. Um, good morning, Aki. Yeah, thank you for, for having us and uh, it's a great pleasure to, to join you on this. Um, uh, yeah, look, uh, the pandemic has been up and down for the business, um, but definitely working from home has, has changed a lot of things. So, um, no, absolutely. It's, it's, I won't say it's been good for us, but it's, it's, uh, it's a different time and, and the new normal will be interesting in the times to come. But it's definitely changed the people, how the people work from home. Yeah, I guess everybody is adapting and uh, new technologies are coming out all over the place. And, uh, you know, um, Seagate has been an organization that's been around for a long time. Just tell us about Seagate as an organization and, and your region in particular that you look after, because it's quite a broad region, isn't it, Quivis? Absolutely. Um, look, it's about 48 countries that I look after. Um, but in saying that, 90% of my business does come from South Africa uh, with other countries like Namibia, Zimbabwe, uh, Madagascar, Mauritius, and a few others responsible for the rest. Uh, currently, I have two distributors in South Africa, and the business segments that I look after are enterprise, surveillance, NAS, gaming, consumer, and to a small degree, our new EDS systems. So everything from distribution channel to system integration, that's, um, and even our, our consumer space, it's, it's all my responsibility and, and the, the things that I look after in, in the region. You know, I wanted to ask you, and um, I, I mean, everyone's talking about the, the chip shortages globally and everything. Has that impacted your business at all? Because whichever business you look at, if it's automotive computing, there's shortages like all over the place. Have you guys been impacted at all? Absolutely. Uh, especially if you look at our system integrators, uh, that's building the PCs and the notebooks for, for the industry. It's, it's definitely having an impact. Um, one of my largest system integrators has, has been down 80%. Uh, the upcoming quarter, purely because on, on chipset shortages. Yeah, uh, it's kind of scary. Now, Kubis, talk to me about those consumer products you touched on. I mean, uh, I've been using Seagate products for, for years, ever since I first got a computer. I, you know, that's how long Seagate has been uh, part of my life. And, uh, you know, recently SSDs. And I mean, the, the amount of kind of things that you guys are producing on the consumer front is quite astonishing. Now, wh wh which ones would you highlight in terms of the, the new stuff that's out there, the, the stuff that consumers should be getting excited about? Oh, sure. Um, the first one will definitely be our, our one-touch family uh, that's available in both HDD and SSD with capacities up to 5 terabyte on the HDD and 2 terabyte on the SSD. And if you look at transfer speeds of up to 1,000 megabits per second through USB on the SSDs, makes them really great value um, external drives. Uh, some of the benefits that, that just come standard with these drives or for instance, four month subscription on Adobe Creative Cloud, one year Milio Create Plan, which are both absolutely brilliant for, for photo editing and video editing. And then also our rescue data recovery service is also included, which just gives you that extra peace of mind that protects your data even further. Um, secondly is our game drives. With, uh, we have amazing Fire CUDA external drives for our PC gamers with capacities up to 16 terabyte on the gaming hubs and, and five terabyte on our 2.5 inch drives. And um, these drives even come with RGB and it makes them more attractive to the PC, uh, PC gamers. And then for our console gamers, we also have both Xbox and PlayStation specific drives. And, and these drives are easy plug and play without the need to reformat them. And then recently we've also launched the, the Seagate storage expansion card for the new Xbox Series X and S which basically instantly increase your storage uh, for your new console by up to one terabyte with, with absolutely no compromise in speed. Wow, I mean, that's a, that's a hell of a range you're talking about. Actually, uh, uh, a friend of mine the other day had a, a, an issue and they had to use the rescue data recovery service. It's amazing how well it worked. You touched on it just now. How does it work exactly? Uh, can you explain it to us? See, so, yeah, I to to, to try and give you a bit of a high level of, of exactly what it is. So the, the Seagate Rescue Data Recovery Service is a, it's like a free add-on that, that we supply two years worth uh, with most of our drives these days. Um, it's just an additional peace of mind. So you simply just register your device on our website um, and you will get, 
get free data recovery in the, in the event that, that something happens to your drive. So in the unfortunate event that, that something does happen, you simply log a claim on our website. Seagate will then collect the drive from you. We'll send it to our lab in Amsterdam. They recover the data and then send your data back on a secure drive together with a new drive. And it's basically as simple as that. So you've got free data recovery with most of our drives currently in our portfolio. That is a very useful service to know. I wonder how many people know about it, um, especially on you, you look at how important data is. Not everybody wants to keep their data in the cloud, for example. I think that's, uh, that, that is critical. The, the look and feel of your drives, I'm fascinated. You touched on the gaming side and I'm a gamer as well. And I, I love looking at how the technology has evolved there. You talked about the limited edition customizable drives. What, what exactly are those and, um, and how do they work with game titles and, and all that sort of thing? How do those things work? Yeah, so we, we've got a, an excellent relationship globally with, with both Microsoft, Xbox and Sony PlayStation. Yes. So, so besides our standard Xbox and PlayStation drives, uh, we often release limited edition game drives, just as you mentioned um, now. Oh. Um, some of the latest ones we did, for example, on Xbox, we did Cyberpunk 2077 and Halo Master Chief. So it's completely branded in, in those game titles. And on, on PlayStation, we did Last of Us Part 2 and then also the Marvel The Avengers range. So these are really cool looking drives and it's a must for the collector. So, so look out for some new releases coming soon. Yeah, and we know how big gaming is. I mean, it's uh, such a massive industry at the moment. Um, you know, Quibus, people that are watching us right now, um, you know, we, we're all using somewhere, we're storing something somehow. What's your advice on people buying, uh, you know, hard drives, for example? We, we, you know, what should people know about? What should people be looking for? What, what is the hard drive to get for the right application? You know, I, I always tell people, and I may be wrong, maybe you can correct me, I, I'm a firm believer of SSDs, if you can afford it, you know, it's the best available out there. Um, but what's your advice to people looking at getting a hard drive? And, and, and there's nothing wrong with traditional hard drives either, by the way. Um, I just like it for the, the speed and, and the, the portability of it. But what is your advice to people who are out there looking for a drive? What, what should they be asking? What questions should they be uh, no. looking at? You're 100% correct. Um, there's, there's definitely different drives for the different need of the, of the, of the end user. Uh, for instance, we've got the OneTouch family and expansion range that I, that I touched on earlier, uh, which is more for your mass audience and your general user. Um, and then also, again, like I touched on earlier, the, the, the gaming-specific drives. That's designed specifically for the console. So, for instance, you can plug those drives in and they, they will work seamlessly without having the need to reformat them. Uh, one of the other things that we've got is our LASI range, uh, specifically designed for, for content creators, the creative professionals. So, so there's quite a few different ones and it's all based on your needs. And it's very important to, to ask the correct question and to ensure that you've got the correct drive. Yeah, I mean, I guess uh, you, you spoke about content creators, Kerbis. I mean, SSD drives really fit into that. Um, and you, t you spoke about LACI just a second ago. I mean, SSD drives have come such a long way and, and the price has dropped quite considerably. Um, when you look at, uh, you know, both Seagate and LACI and those SSD drives, I mean, that's a very interesting part of your business portfolio, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, we've got quite a few options available at the moment on our external range. So we've got the one touch and the one touch and the expansion SSD range, which is our standard offering, uh, available from 500 gig uh, up to two terabyte. Then we've got our Fire CUDA uh, external SSDs for the gamers with incredible speeds of up to 2,000 megabits per second on on USB C, um, and with even some RGB as well. So. Uh, they are really cool for the gamers, also available from 500 gig to, to 2 terabyte. And then, as you mentioned, on the last C range, we've got quite a few options. We've got the, the, the portable SSDs. We've got the one big dock SSD, which is really nice. It's like a docking station on your, on your desk. And then we've got the rugged SSDs. Um, so for the outdoor use and the, and the nature photographers, they like our, our rugged series. And currently, the Rugged SSD Pro are capable of speeds up to 2,800 megabytes per second. Wow. And that makes it uh, one of the fastest external SSDs currently available. 
Yeah, I mean, and, and they're just magnificent. I, I just love that orange color. It's just so uh, recognizable out there in the market, you know, uh, amazing products. Where, where do you see the industry going, Quirbus? I mean, everybody thought that, you know, with the cloud business, we'd be storing stuff in the cloud, but yet um, we, we're using more hard drives than ever before. We are, uh, as you say, content creators. The amount of content that people are creating. I mean, I'm a content creator and I I'm, I'm often running out of space to store the stuff. You know, the files are getting bigger. We're all demanding a lot more speed. Uh, you look at the memory cards that are being used in, in, in cameras today. And the, the fact that we have to store all of this, it's, it's good for your business long term. Where, where is the business going? Where do you see Seagate from in five years from now? And are those speeds going to get even faster than what they are today? Well, it's difficult to say if they are going to be even faster. But yes, I, I assume the way technology is going, they will definitely go faster. Uh, as you mentioned, it, yes, everything is going to the cloud. But at the end of the day, the cloud is, is just a bunch of disks. It's, it's still hard, spinning hard drives sitting somewhere. And, exactly. and that's basically the cloud. So um, that's definitely IT 4.0 is the direction that Seagate is moving into. Um, the, the way data is creating, uh, data is the new currency these days. It, it's such a priceless uh, thing at the moment. Um, if you think of it, in, in 2008, I think it was, we created about 20 exabyte in total. These days, we generate that amount of data every eight hours. So the amount of, of data that's created is, is just, it's just mind-blowing. Um, if you think of it, something like AI, for instance, which is also the new topic and everybody's talking about it, AI is data that's creating data. Um, so it's it's uh, it's an endless it's an endless opportunity, um, and and with our new hammer technology, uh, we've already got to the point where we've got twenty terabyte in a, in a single disk, and and our plan is to get to fifty, even sixty that's, terabyte in a single disk. So that's, it's, it's that's amazing. Did you say fifty terabytes? Yes, in a single disk. Yeah. Gee whiz, I don't know how you guys are going to do that. But, you know, every time you think about, you know, I remember at the, at when one terabyte was, wow, you know, we, we jumped from 500 gigabyte to, you know, one terabyte and, and that was a massive jump. And now you're talking about 50. My goodness, I don't know how you guys do these kind of things. Kubis, your range of products, um, your consumer stuff that you've been talking about, do you have a, a personal favorite product uh, that you are really blown away by? Uh, uh, definitely the one touch is, is really a nice drive. Uh, um, just the touch and feel of it, everything you get with it, you get backup software included on it. Uh, it's, it's just a complete, really valued drive that, that I do really like. And you even get them in different colors, so you can pick the color that you like. That's amazing. Amazing. Quibus, thank you so much uh, for, for joining us on What's Next. Quibus Burnett, who is the Treasury Lead for Southeast West Africa. It's a, it's a massive e uh, region at Seagate talking about this uh, incredible business, how much data we are creating every day. We need somewhere to store it. And it's extraordinary when you just think that we have reached a point where we're not going to be creating more data. We create even more data. So Quibus, thank you so much for joining us on What's Next and sharing those insights into where Seagate is going on the consumer space. We do appreciate your time. Thank you, Akin. Thank you for having me. Really Thank was you. a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.